Jesus, man. We're only on episode two. You can't keep doing it like this. We still have a few couple hundred chapters that gotta get adapted. I mean, I get it for other shows, but they're already in their most climactic moments. You can't burn out this quick. I all. I'm Bayfun, and today we're gonna be talking about the most highly anticipated manhwa adaptation the world's ever seen. Solo leveling. You know, hopefully this is the one. This might be the one that's gonna absolutely kill it and make me say, damn, manhwa adaptations, they're going places. Because in my opinion, recently we haven't seen all too many good adaptations of manhwas. I was personally disappointed by A Returner's Magic Should Be Special, and I know a lot of people didn't like the adaptation of Tower of God. But I think in my opinion, this is probably the series that people care about the most. I say that because I feel like the community of solo leveling is just so goddamn immense. Since way before its first episode, it was already bound to be a hugely popular shonen series. And that's what it's really panning out to be because it looks so brilliant. Look at it. The animation on this looks identical to the manhwa. I mean, it's really uncanny, and you gotta give a lot of credit to A1 Pictures for all of this. I don't know if they have some actual pointers from some Korean artists, or if they actually have some Korean animators in-house for this. But again, somehow, every little thing in here looks pretty much identical to how it looked in the manhwa. And I think most people can really agree upon this, that the art style in the manhwa is probably the most important thing about that entire series. It's the thing that makes it worth reading. Because to be honest, without that, that would be a pretty average web novel. As someone that did read the entirety of the story, I think it's pretty good. It's solid. Though, I did think that while we were reaching the end of the manhwa that I started to care a little bit less about everything. I can't deny just how epic everything feels in the beginning of it. Getting immersed in this world, learning how the gates work, learning how these powers and these abilities work, learning about the big players in this entire universe, it all kind of seems cool when you're getting into it. And of course, that's where we're getting right now because we just started on the adaptation. So far, we're only a few episodes in. Just by judging episode one of this story, I thought that this was gonna be a pretty chill, a pretty calm pace. I didn't think that they were gonna rush forward with the story. In fact, my memory of reading the original manhwa was so kind of cloudy that I thought that it barely covered a single chapter. Again, I was wrong when I jumped back in just to reread how much it actually covered. I didn't think it went all the way up to chapter 10. So if we're keeping a pace like this, then I think we're in good hands. But what I think everyone's really been talking about with this series is episode two, because God damn, did they really do justice to the brutality that all of these characters face with the terror of meeting a god. I mean, I get why Sung Ji Woo's voice actor just completely coughed out blood, but I mean, come on. Again, it's only the second episode. You really don't have to be going that hard for this performance. But no matter what, it sold the despair in the entire situation. It sold just how terrifying this could really be. Limbs flying everywhere, people just dying indiscriminately. It was glorious. It fit exactly with the tone of the manhwa. I think that if I could only give like a single mark of praise to this entire adaptation, it's just how accurate everything is. Again, that's just something that I appreciate so much for them to actually be willing to show. And they really aren't afraid to pull their punches at any point. Now, why I say that, they are making some changes with the story because, well, I don't remember her being introduced this early on. So they're definitely laying the groundwork for what we're gonna be seeing in the near future. I think personally, this is a fantastic thing to do, introduce those elements early on so that we already know where they're coming from. It's a smart move so that we don't have to get like massive bouts of exposition later on. I can just say that by what we've seen so far, I'm really excited to get into the real meat of the story after this entire prologue bit's over. Because of course, that's when it dives into all of those cliche power fantasy moments that a lot of people really enjoy. I mean, me included sometimes. And I think the animation is just going to keep continuing to go hard because as it looks beautiful in the actual series, just look at the OP too. It really gives us some good examples about how the fights might be handled later on. And if that's the case, it's gonna make it even more badass when the words arise are spoken for the first time. You know, I think you can already expect to get a little bit of chills when those words are spoken. And accompanying the gorgeous OP is a K-pop track, or well, a track that's made by K-pop artists. And while I'm someone that's not actually really all too big on the whole K-pop thing, a lot of people really, really love the artists that they selected into this. But in my opinion, I just think that the element that the song brings just elevates the OP just a little bit more. I got to pay the bills, the bills. So I think it fits rather well. The most different thing that I think most of us saw with this adaptation was the ED because, wow, 
That's kind of a little bit, I don't know, that's a little bit different. I didn't really expect an ED like that. I mean, what is this, like the Chainsaw Man backgrounds? I know it has nothing to do with anime, but I mean, look at this. It looks almost like it could be from Severance or something like that. A really different vibe that I do dig because that smooth transition from that quest completion screen really did it justice. And overall, yeah, I understand why people have been talking about this adaptation saying that it's just so good, even though we're only a few episodes in. Now, as long as it just keeps this momentum, I think it really can be one of the best anime of the season. But overall, we'll just really have to wait and see until we get to that point. And here's where I gotta ask you, what do you think about the adaptation so far? Is it perfect for you? Have they been doing everything just right? Or, you know, maybe, they're just changing things up a little bit. Maybe you don't like the style of how the series is going. Maybe you think it's a little slow even. Please, let me know down in the comments below. And as always, I was Bayfund. And I'll be seeing you guys next time. Peace.